Greetings everybody and welcome to Let's Play Seven Days to Die, episode number 29. Well, um, for a start, you guys have probably noticed that I'm not wearing everything and stuff and I'm kind of re-putting things back on. I happened to die of thirst and it wasn't cool. Um, I've dug myself so deep into the mines that I, I just couldn't for the life of me find the way out of them. And yeah, it wasn't good. I was kind of trapped and it didn't bode well for me. So yeah, unfortunately we did have a massive wellness drain. I think about 10 wellness just went from me trying to keep myself alive enough just to get out and then I still died. I got, I actually got out in the end. I figured out where it was that I needed to go. I got out, got right back to where I was about to get some water and died. And it sucked. So um, yeah, there was that. Now, first of all, I'm just going to see how much gas my mini bike has got. Not much. So, let's refuel that thing as much as we can. I think that's what we're going to need to go out and do a bit later on as well, is go out and get some more, get some more gas in order to um, allow us to travel more on the mini bike. So, let me uh, refuel that as far as as much as I can. So we got 150 something gas remaining, which is cool. Right. So, what we want to do today, guys, is I want to get some more loot back from the Hub City. Simply because we kind of need to, and there's probably some stuff there that will be very useful to us. So, let's, uh, I also want to fight some zombies just because I feel that we haven't done that in a little bit, and it might be kind of fun. So, yeah, we're going to head back to the Hub City, uh, in amongst all the little grass glitching right there, which is quite cool. There we go. Right, head out of here. Now, there is a duffel bag right there. Did I actually look at that? Um, yeah, I did. Cool. So, let's head back to the Hub City and see if we can get any more stuff back from there. I think we've probably got a little bit of... Um, it's mainly materials and stuff that we scavenged from those huge buildings that we still need to grab, which is fine. It could be pretty useful for us if we go back and get them. So. I, it's, it's, somewhere, it's something I want to do. Plus, I do want to fight some more zombies. I want to see if I can snipe some zombie cops as well and get some more gun parts. Because I think that's going to be the best way to get some gun parts, really, is to go and start trying to pick them off and see where see where we end up. So, yeah, might be kind of fun. So, let's head back to the hub city. I found a road, which is cool. I will... Uh, after you take that road, oh no, it looks like it um, jumps up there, I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm not sure what happens in the road generation, sometimes it just ends in these random walls. I hope that's something they do manage to sort out in the next alpha though. Because um, it, is, it is quite cool, but at the same time it kind of breaks the immersion just a little bit. And yeah, it's not the, uh, not the most straightforward thing in the world. It's like, sure it's an apocalyptic world, but why in the middle of the desert with the road suddenly do that. It just, it, to me, it doesn't make much sense. But yeah, we're heading down to the, uh, currently we're heading down to our old town, so there's the water. And this time, I'm not going to lose the mini bike in the water. Um, that was kind of embarrassing when that happened last time. Um, so I don't want, I don't want to do that again. But yeah, we'll head along this road, and then there'll be another road that takes us straight up to the hub city from this town. I'm actually starting to learn, uh, I actually started to learn this map pretty well, to be fair, and I kind of know where I am on the map without really having to look at it, so it's quite good now. I know I know exactly where I need to travel to get to certain places. Right then, so let's enter this uh, swampy city. It is actually a little bit swampy around here, but I quite like it. It's quite a cool little town. I've never, I don't think I've actually ever seen a town quite like this in just a regular just a regular world, so it's quite unique. So let's head around here, and if we follow this road, we should end up right back in the hub city, and then we can go grab some stuff. So I do love driving this mini bike, though, guys. I really do. It's so fun. I wonder if we'll find as well our old little base. There might be some stuff that we uh, remember. We set out that temporary base like ages ago. We might run into that again and see what we get from there. But I don't think. I don't think we'll come right next to it. I think we get close to it, but not right next to it. That's cool. So we're heading up the hill. So once we're at the top of this hill, and turn a few more corners, we should be pretty much at the Hub City's location. So just got this big hill to get up. 
So it's a very twisty road though. I like it. I think our base is like there somewhere, but I'm not sure. But I see some buildings. Here we are. We have arrived. Right. Anything? No? Right, let's not dilly dally. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to one of our temporary bases and grab the loot from there and get out of it. Unless you happen to find some cops, of course, in which case I would love to engage with them. Right, let's go this way and down. So I, I believe one of our bases is down here. There it is. So let's head up carefully here. Now I don't hear any footsteps, so I don't know whether that's a good thing or whether I should be scared, but just in case I'm getting my gun. Just in case some Nazis appear. Right, what have we got in here? So here is plenty of food. I'll take that. And that one is completely empty. So this building is now completely done. We've got everything from that one, which is awesome. So let me uh, load up some of this stuff into the mini bike. So you've got plenty of coffee as well, and then loads of tin stuff, which is cool. So that's just going to cover that one. So we need to head to our other home, which is that way. Let's see if we can grab just the rest of that stuff from there. So I believe it's one up and then one over. So let's go back this way. There we go, let's go this way. Hopefully we won't run into any zombies, but if we do, we should be ready for them. And oops. Don't want to do that, can't afford to can't afford to mess up. I still don't hear any footsteps. Did we search for junk? No, we didn't. We, but there's nothing in there anyway, so it's fine. Um, yeah, I, I didn't hear any other footsteps. All right. Oh, we've got loads of food in that one as well, and more potato seeds as well, which is epic. Right, I can carry the lot of that. If I load some more back into this bike, so yeah, this is our kind of food run because we did we did get an awful lot of food from these uh, houses, which is awesome. So I should be able to load most of those tins straight into there. That's fine, that's gone in. Uh, can I put any more in there? The coffee can go in. So can the can of chilli, honey. Note that tin of rations cannot go in either. Um, is there any other stuff I can load in here? What other tin stuff have I got? I've got beers and things like that. Have I got any other beer in here? Nope. So I can get rid of those because those are pretty useless and disgusting. Um, I should probably use one of those because I broke my leg. So let me use that, scrap those, or get rid of those. Don't need the bandages. I'm just try just trying to decide what's good to keep and what I should just get rid of. They can oh are they the same thing? Canopies and can of pears. Oh, okay, there's a, there's one letter difference, yeah. Canopies and can of pears. Um Right. Let's have a look in the other chest. Is there any more resources in there that we need to grab? There is those aren't really the only important stuff is that one and that one okay so we've pretty much got everything from the hub city now so yeah we're good to go guys we've got everything from the uh from the hub um from those two big buildings and that'll be straight back to our base so i do want to try and find some zombie cops and things though just to see if i can pick them off but i don't think i'm gonna be having much luck with that let me check, um, one thing I do want to check is, I know I said I do know the area kind of a, of a bit, but there's there's the other town. I think we should head back to this other town and see if there's any other places that we didn't loot, um, and try, and try and loot it, so, yeah, let's go and do that. Let's go back to the other town and see if we can loot some stuff. So, I'm going to skip this part of the journey because it's just going to be me driving, so I will see you guys once we're back at the other town in just a little bit. Oh, and that's the burnt forest, I don't want to go in there. God, no. Alright guys, well, we are back in the town, but it's not the town we thought it was. Um, I actually kind of went through the snow biome, took a complete wrong turn, and I ended up 
in what appears to be a brand new town. So let's just have a quick look and see if this is a, like a full town or is it not so big. It looks like it might be a uh, it might be a full town, which is pretty cool. So there might be some useful stuff around here. Now there's a bank there. That's going to be brilliant. We might get some good gun parts in there. We got another cracker book, so more paper is going to be ours, which is excellent. We got plenty of paper that we can get from there. Um, let's have a look and see what other stuff we've got around this little town. Uh, so yeah, this again, this is a completely separate town from what we had before. So yeah, we should have a lot more stuff to raid here. And uh, what's this? Bit of a chunk loading issues. There's like a power plant there. It's pretty cool. Um, anything else over around here? Let's see if we can find any more shops. Yeah, it appears now I'm traveling so fast. There are a few uh, chunk loading, chunk loading issues, but that's okay. Um, let's see what we got. We've got a few more houses and things like that. What else have we got? There's a fancy house over there that might have something useful in it. Is that the edge of the town? Nope, that's not the edge. Yeah, there's one of the big fancy houses over there. And then there is a tallish building right here. Okay, so it looks like there could be some pretty good potential for this one. Um, so, I think we should, without any further ado, get to uh, do a bit of raiding while we're here. So, definitely didn't expect this space, but... You know, we got something pretty cool. So, what's this first place? Is this like one of those restaurant things? Yeah, it is. This is like a little restaurant place. That's cool. Right. First of all, is there any additional stuff I can put away in there? No, that's just going to go in my hotbar. So, yeah, we've got a lot of water, which we might not necessarily need after a little while. That's cool. So, we need to go and finish off these zombies, and then we'll go and, uh, we'll go and raid what's in here. So it looks like this is a gas area, so let's uh, pick up these barrels. Oop. Hello. <laughs> right, nothing on you. Fine, be stingy. Got any crawlers here? Yeah, we got some more crawlers. Dude! Any behind me? Yeah, yeah, they're trying to break in there. Corpse has only iron pipes, that's fine. As long as they're not inside the area just now, that's fine. He's Look at this guy. God, he's he's mad. Look at him. Wow, okay, he's he's angry. Anything in the shopping trolley? No, there is a uh, Plenty of zombies around me. Sounds like they're breaking out. Let's help them out. Come on then. You're free. You're free. Any more? Come on then. Come on then. God, I'm literally one shotting all the sats. Oh, hello. These two have joined the party. A uh, mini bike wheel as well, that might be better than our current one. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't very nice. No meant to punch me, that's that's just mean. Right, so we got more bullets. Shotgun ammo as well, which is good. How about you? Nothing on you, you stingy bugger. You? No. Nothing. Nothing. So yeah, the, the one thing I want to look for is like gun parts and things like that. Dude. Okay. He's got bullet casings, which I will take. Scrap that. You breaking in? Now where you going? Alright, she's just decided to just run off somewhere. So I may as well just come in here quick and see if we can uh, get anything useful. So I'll grab that. There are only like working stiff crates in here. I swear there are sometimes. No, I'm guessing not. It's just a little, uh, just a little garage with not much. So, any bike wheels that we did grab. Pretty crap. 
pretty crap, so I'll ignore this. Take a barrage. Okay, this isn't good. Let's just finish these guys off with the gun. May as well. So he's down. He's falling, he's falling through the door. And you? What have you got? Nothing? Right, let me just kind of come back in here for a sec. I need to uh, put my axe back in my hotbar, right? I didn't want you. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. Or you. Or you. I'm trying to decide what's good to keep and what's not so good to keep. I don't need that stuff. Right, there we go. Um, Looks like I'm getting a bit hot in this area though. So let me look for my clothing. Just a sec. And I want to take off the leather stuff. I don't need that. That's just going to overheat me. And that's not good. Right. Oh, hello. I didn't see you coming. Now, were you really on the guest list? Did I invite you to my party? I don't think I did. That's what happens when you show up without an invite. Right, nurse. I love being able to one-shot these things. It's brilliant. Let's get rid of that and then get rid of the wood that it gives me. Because I don't want the wood. Right, okay, so... I think we've cleared out the zombies from this area now. There might be a few more just like lurking around. But... Let's bring it here. Right, the one thing I want to look for is these tills, so we can raid those for... Take all the brass! Um, we can scrap those as well. Now, I don't think I need any more drinks and stuff, so I'm not going to raid the drinks bridges now. Um, there could be some useful stuff in there. Yes, there is. There is more of these pistol things. Uh, let me um, assemble that one. Let's see what parts I've got. Now, it's a full pistol, but it's pretty crap, but I'll keep it just in case. For now, anyway, just just in case the worst comes to the worst. Right, what's that? here there is. Oh wow, that's oh that's only an iron one though, so it's not as good as our steel one. Uh, I was gonna say that's that was a better one. That was a better one than our one, but it wasn't. It was just a disappointment. So never mind. Never mind. Oh, we leveled up though. So let's see what we can do with uh, how many skills do we have. We have eight points available to us. Alright then, let's have a look. What can we use? We can use... We can increase our skill with pistols, uh, do more damage with handguns uh, by using items, so we do like 6% like more damage. I think what we need to do is though, is there one for the SMG? Or is that does that come under rifles? I have no idea. Uh, do more damage with rifles and assault rifles, that's what we want to do. Um, we have the better lead than, lead than dead perk as well, which kind of increases the uh, the damage as well. Okay, I don't think there's any stuff we need to from there. So you can see our mining tools and miscrafting everything is at 100, which is brilliant. I think I'll get my toolsmithing up a little bit more. Just so we can um, use that, because now we make 564 quality tools, which is much better than what we're currently at, which is nice. Oh, anything in the basket. Uh, yeah, just beer. It's funny how, like, at the start of the game, you're just like, Oh my god, beer! And then you're just like, meh, it's, it's beer. Right, so, on the bike. And I'm running on the bike, look at that. I was like, ha ha ha! Right, so there's a passing gas here. And there's a load of zombies coming too. So is this, is this a wandering horde? They seem to be kind of moving very determinedly in my direction. It might just be because I... Okay. Alright. I'll deal with you first. Hey, you happy now? You, you, you happy I dealt with you first? Right. Oh, my aim sucks today. 
Right, you. <laughs> right, so it looks like this is the... Uh... Wait, is this a... Oh, that's the passing guy. It looked like a bank for a minute. Oh, hello. Didn't see you. I keep forgetting these guys slide. It's just like, ah! So, gas. And gas. A barrel, which is great. I need those. Hmm. Now, do we go in the passing gas, or do we just kind of skip this? I mean, I know we do need more gas, so it might be useful. Let's go in the back and get... There should be, like, another barrel and another fuel from here. So we'll go and grab those, and that barrel, and that barrel. Yeah, we'll, we'll grab the barrels and things like that, because that's useful, but I don't think the stuff inside is going to be... There might be a working stiff crates in there. Uh, if there are, that would be nice. Because sometimes there are in these places, so it's like working stiffs. Um... More potatoes, though. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take the potatoes over. You know what? We got so much water. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get rid of the water that we've got because we've kind of got goldenrod tea on us anyway, and we got loads of water back at the base. And you know, this pistol, we'll we'll leave it. It's fine. We don't need to worry about that because the pistol we got back at the base is a lot better anyway. Stone I can get rid of, and then gas. Yeah, a bit of a inventory management to try and get as much useful stuff as I can out of here now because not all the stuff is useful anymore um, which is kind of a kind of a good thing I suppose because it means we're going to be like looking around less for things but yeah that's pretty much all I need from the past yes. but that's not the place that I want to concern myself with right now the place I want to concern myself with is just over here This is what I want. The bank. And we're going to have to fight for it. No contest. Someone inside. Hey, dude. Oh, there's a nurse inside. Ah. Any more of you guys around here? Anyone else? Yes. Crawl out. That actually made me jump, so I didn't see him at first. Come on. There we go. Right. Sounds like we have more zombies like breaking out of the buildings. Another crawler here. Ow. That was nasty. Right, you. Ah. Took a swing, but you missed. I, c I can hear them all around me. They're 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 determined to get me now. They know they know now that I'm that I'm here. They're just like, yeah, this guy's trying to rob our bank. I wonder if zombies like. I wonder if zombies kind of have a a sense of right and wrong, like when you try and rob their bank. Right, let's just finish this one off. Come on. <laughs> how did she not how did she not hear me? That was like a delayed response. I was like, hi, and she was like, <gasps> like that. <laughs> just like that was like the most delayed response. Like ever. Oh, there's, st there's still more. I, I kinda wanna finish these guys off before I start raiding places. Okay. <laughs> What is in here anyway? Is there anything useful in here? Um, there is a corpse. Oh, he might have something. Mm, oh, actually, that could be good. That might be better than what we've got in our current magnum. Let me check that. Um, is that cylinder better? Yes, it is. Oh, that cylinder's way better. Oh, yes. We'll swap that gladly. And also, I can get rid of that breaking glass. Oh, wow. Okay, our magnum has improved. Oh, I'm happy about that. That is good. That is good. So. I hope for, for more improvage from this bank. So let's have a look and see what we can pull out of here. So first of all, I will check. I hear more zombies, but it's fine. We'll check the small offices first. I think there might be a wandering horde coming my way. I didn't see the dog horde yesterday either, so I wasn't really sure what was going on with that. Yeah, it sounds like there's a wandering horde coming my way. 
Alright, there there is a wandering horde, but you know what? Sod it. Just just if they come in, they come in. Right. Paper. Brass. This is this is good, this is good. Paper and brass for me. Paper, that one's open, so nothing in there. Paper. God, for a bank, they don't have many of the brass tokens, do they? Oh, is that was that it? That's all there that's all there was. Well, that sucked. Alright, let's start, let's break into these safes and see what we've got in here. Gun parts, please. Okay, well... Paper, as we kind of predicted there would be. But, you know, we kind of always predict there'll be paper in there now. And it's good I can destroy these things in like five hits now. And pistol receiver. That may be better than my current one, but I have no idea of... I have no way of knowing. If I'd have known that we'd run into a bank, I'd have probably brought all the guns, just so I could um, free upgrade them. So, you've got... I'll scrap that, but the shotgun long barrel we don't need. So, what's in here? We have got... Oh man! A quality 412 hunting rifle. Now that is a find. That is a find and a half. Oh wow! That was good. That was good. I like that. So we've got a very good hunting rifle now. Better than our sniper. Well, our luck has been pretty good. Hunting rifle barrel. Uh, that might be better than what's in that hunting rifle there. So let's see uh, what are the quality of the what are the quality of the parts like on this thing. Uh, let's assemble. No, it looks like okay. Everything else is in the blue apart from the receiver, so we can just uh, we can just scrap we can just scrap that for a start. So we don't need to worry about that one. I, I'm just glad we got a full hunting rifle. I didn't expect that at all. So I'm happy with that. Let's break into this one and see what we've got here. We got medkit schematics, which we know. Right, this would be the big one to break in. This door is huge, right? So as we know, there's going to be loads more safes behind this thing. So I'll be back once I've broken open all the safes, and then we'll have a good look at what, good look at what's inside. Alrighty, guys, we have broken in. So let's see what's in here. Okay, so it's going to be a big paper deal. So let me scrap that one. In this one we have paper. In this one we have more paper, essentially. In this one we have. Ooh, that might be better for our pistol. So that's better than that one. This one we have pistol barrel. Oh dear. I hear an intruder. I hear an intruder. Ah, I'm not loaded it. God damn it. Any more of you? Oh, hello. And you're back on your feet. Okay. Let's get back to it and see what else we've got in here. Right, so where did we get to? We got to that one, didn't we? Um, uh, there are a lot of zombies around me. Um, so we've done that one. Right, here we have more stuff to scrap. Paper. Here we have hunting rifle parts. I don't think that's as good as what's in there right now, but we'll take it and we'll have a look in a sec. In here we have hunting rifle barrel. Nice, that might be better. I'll take that as well. Um, here we have pistol receiver, which is not as good, so that's fine. Here we have hunting rifle receiver, which I don't think is as good, so that's fine. Come on, give me something good. Here we have shotgun shot stop. Uh, I said a shotgun shot stock. <laughs> um, right, let's scrap that one. I don't think those are as good. And that one contains hunting rifle stock. Right. Well, let's see if we can improve our hunting rifle with this anyway. Uh, we might be able to. So, let's assemble. And that's 436. And that is 406. So, nope. That is 427. And that is 445, so that is improved. So that can go. There we go. So now the pistol stuff, I'm not sure. Now the hunting rifle parts, no, those are worse as well. So it's the it's the receiver that we need to improve on. All right. Well, that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much this entire area looted. 
Are they trying to break in still? Yeah, they are. Let's just have a look. Uh, we didn't go into these rooms, did we? Nope. And you had nothing in you. Oh, hello. You snuck, you snuck in. Right, let's see if we can get out with the hunting rifle. Ah, guess not. I guess we gotta load it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, I smashed the glass with it, but I missed the zombie. Oh, yes. This is good. Oh. Go on then. Ooh. Getting some good shots here. Yes. I like the hunting rifle. It's a bit difficult to aim with it, but I do like it. Let's see if we can get that guy right in the distance. Nah, I missed him. Here he comes. Yes! What a shot. Yeah, hunting rifles are great for like bears and things like that, but I think they I think they might be more powerful than the sniper rifle, but I'm not really too sure. I can't say I can't say for sure. Right, there's there appears to be a zombie inside there. I'm over here. Oh wow! Blasted air over. <laughs> I like the hunting graphic, it's pretty cool. Right, so we can just search, we may as well search the cracker book as well. See what's in here. We're gonna get loads of paper, guaranteed. Um, I don't think there's gonna be any more useful book recipes in here. Well, there's, there's definitely not. I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna take the straight paper and not bother scrapping anything now. Because we've learned um, all the recipes anyway, so we don't need to worry about, you know, we don't need to worry about like learning new recipes. I'll just take where when when we just see paper, I'll just take that and scrap that, just so that we can get through this nice and quickly. So I'll grab that one, and you have got paper. You have paper too. We are, we're getting a good amount of paper though. Shotgun shells. I don't think it's ever going to be a problem again. Nothing in those. Books, but nothing really. That's the thing. Now, now we're fine. Now we're at a high level. We're finding all the types of books in here now. We'd, like before, we'd find like maybe the same leather schematic, but now it's like we're finding all the different types, which is quite funny. I think it has something to do with our level. Um, and oh, that kind of <laughs> fell and burst. Right, okay, so before we leave, as I just want to check that there's no more like nice big places in the town left to loot. We've gone around the outside of the town. What I want to try and find is the popping pills, so though. I think there might have been one down the end. But yeah, our wellness going down is something that we definitely want to um, try and get around if we can. But it looks like there was none, so that's okay. Um, Let's look towards the middle of the town. Oh yeah, there was the power plant there. Which... I know it's not going to have anything useful in it. Um, like, in terms of healing items. But, you know, it might be some good. So, it doesn't look like there's any more shops in this area. Only what we've looted. So this looks like you know, a less interesting town for shops. Okay, I think lastly then, we will go and raid the, the little power station, wherever that was. I've lost it now. I've lost the power station. Oh, I, I know, it's up here, wasn't it? It was up here, here we go. Yeah, let's go raid the power station, see what's in here. There could be something cool. It, there could be some better auger parts in here, which is what I'm, uh, what I'm kind of hoping for. Uh, is there a way we can get in here? I know, there's like a a broken piece of the wall somewhere sometimes. Oh, I guess not. I, I guess we'll have to break in ourselves this time, which is fine. So let me uh, just pick an area and break it down. Right, they're all coming towards me. So let me, uh, let's use our fancy hunting rifle and take these guys out.
I know we got a sniper rifle, which should make it easier, but I do like the hunting rifle. It's more challenging. Let's use the sniper on these really far away ones, though. Apart from you, you can... You're getting too close for comfort. Just take these guys out. It looks like it's a wandering horde, maybe. Take these guys down. Sounds like there's something coming to the right of me. Ah, I see ya. I see ya. Ah, I missed. Damn it. Where are you going? You're kind of just hanging around there. There we go. Taken care of. And oh, hello, I didn't see you. Hmm, right. Well, we should be able to get those guys through the wall. It's more on the outside. We'll let them break. We'll let them break out. We'll let them break out. They can do that themselves. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. There we go. Taken care of. Sounds like there's one. Is there one over there? Oh yeah, there's a few over there actually. Hmm. Right, that's him taking care of. Yeah, the sniper's good for like the real distance targeting. Oh, what a shot that was. Oh, okay, we killed him. Right, there's another one inside there, isn't there? Yeah, I've been, I know I've been taking a while to just like kill these guys, but... Nice to see some action now and again. Right, now he should come through here. Well, he's he's trying, bless him, but he's not doing, not doing too well, is he? Ah, oh, I missed him. Now where'd he go? Ah, oh, stay still! Hmm, what's he trying to do? Did that kill him with the body shot? No, it stunned him. Right, we're in. We're in. Finally. Finally we are in. Right, let's finish these guys off. Yeah, sniper rifle's definitely better, but... Like, for... But the challenge it offers, I quite like this one. Okay, he's gonna break out in a second. Kind of back away a bit. Come on. He's down. Right. Where's the other one? There you are. Finish her off. <laughs> She can get back up. No, I think I, I think I killed her. Nice. Right, let us raid and see what's in here. This will be the last building I raid, guys, and then we'll, uh, we'll call it from there. I think. What have you got in you? Anyway? Yeah, a bit of food and water. Right, let's head down the bottom and see what we can find in this place. There's usually not too much down here, but there's, I know there is a working stiffs crate down here. Um, so nothing in the box. In there, nothing really in there, so let's take that out. I don't know why the junk floats, that's just really odd, but never mind. Right, so let's have a look. I know that there's a working stiffs crate over here, right? And I'm not going to destroy it this time. So, corpse, which has nothing, box with nothing, rubbish with uh, the oil, I'll take for definite, make more repair kits, so I'll take that one. 
you have got nothing. Well, that was a useless crate. There's another box underneath which has more stuff to scrap for paper. So that rubbish had some paper. That that rubbish had some paper in here. I'm I'm trying. I'm struggling with my words today at the moment, guys. So uh, I do apologise for my uh, very bad English. Uh, what else have we got here? So we got a box of nothing. Good amount of paper in that junk. Nice. Oh, brass. Thank you. I'll take quite happily. Let me. Read. Oh, I didn't mean to. Didn't mean to read that. Let me. Just Grab that one. Nothing. Anything under it? Yeah, there's another box underneath with more jars and paper. There we go. That's all that's there. Um, is that anything in particular or not? No. Junk. There's no, a bit of glue, but we've got bones to be able to make our own, so that's all right. So this goes, that goes outside, doesn't it? So we don't need to go that way. Some more iron desks, which we don't need anything from. Rubbish. Hmm. Duct tape I'll take, because it is it is easy to make, but it's just nice to have spare. So that stuff I know we can take apart for scrap cases and stuff. Th these places are more so if you need to come for iron and things like that. Right, there might be a corpse on the roof, so let's have a quick look around. Oh. Be careful not to fall off as well. Might help. Uh, no, nothing. Mm. Coffee, but we got plenty of that. Nothing on the corpse. You stingy bugger. I know you're, I know you're dead, but you should have had a reward for me for trying to find you and save your life. Uh, bird's nest. Can we take anything? No, nope. we are we are chock full of stuff. Right, let's head back downstairs. And I think that is everything around here that's useful in this town. Which is fair enough. Let's head down the bottom. And get that crap out of here. So you want. And Alright, let's roll. Right guys, I think then um, that'll pretty much conclude it for this episode of Seven Days to Die. So thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one uh, where we are going to be preparing for the day 28 horde. Um, so yeah, we have a, a bit more preparation to do, uh, probably a bit more mining in the meantime as well and loads of other useful, uh, loads of other stuff that we've got going on. And oh, there's, looks like there is a... Run down. Oh, I thought that was a forge house then, but it's just one of the more rundown ones, which is fair enough. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to I'm gonna head back to base, and I'm gonna call it an episode. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.